Hello there and welcome to yet another CBS demonstration video. This time I'm going to show you how to install or change the gear in one of our wiper motors. These gears come in different sweep angles from 95 degrees right up to 140 degree sweep angle on this windscreen. And it's a fairly straightforward job, but there are a couple of things that you've got to get right. Here are the components, the motor, the gear, the drive cable. This is the nose that accepts the Bundy tube and the little brass nut. You have a plain washer. A Belleville washer, which is basically a, a spring washer, which is shaped like a dish and a circlip. So let's take a look inside the motor. First thing to do is take off the cover with these four screws here. We've got a 7mm nut runner. They're self-tapping screws. And there's the cover. And you can see that there's already some grease inside. Some grease on the lid. We're going to keep that for later. Okay, looking inside the casting, you can see a white nylon channel there. This is the channel that accepts the square section of the drive cable. And the drive cable slides along the nylon channel like this. Here is the spindle, the worm of the wiper motor. This turns. And here is the bearing that accepts the shaft of the drive gear. Now down inside there you can maybe just see a little white button. This is the switch that controls the park of the wiper motor. And on the back of the wiper gear there's a little white nylon block which is raised and as this wheel rotates it will press that little white button and disconnect the switch so that the wiper blades always park in the right position. This is a 110 degree sweep angle gear it's stamped on the front plate of the gear there um, but they are available from 95 degrees right up to 140 degrees sweep angle. This is the shaft that goes along and pushes and pulls the cable as the gear goes round and there's a pin on the back of the shaft that locates in the square block on the end of the cable. First thing to do is to fit the Belleville washer. Now this Belleville washer is shaped like a dish. The top of the dish is the widest diameter and the bottom of the dish is the smallest diameter. And it acts as a spring. It's made out of spring steel and it compresses as you assemble the gear into the motor and takes out all the backlash and keeps some tension on the drive gears. So we first need to get a little bit of grease on the Belleville washer. We're going to put the widest end the biggest face touching the black nylon face of the drive gear. So let's get a bit of grease on the washer. Spread it around and slide the washer over the shaft. We can also put a little bit of grease on the slipper plate there. so that it's greased when it actuates the parking switch. Okay, we're now going to slide the gear down into the bearing. A little bit more grease on it. Just put it into the top of the bearing for now. So it's located and it goes in about 10mm. 
Now we take the drive cable and we'll fit the nose. This is the little die cast threaded block that slips over the cable with a little tang first and the threaded piece last. Feed it all the way down the cable until it gets to the end where the square block is. The square block we're going to fit in the nylon channel so let's just put a bit of grease on there and we're going to fit the hole in the drive cable over the peg in the arm of the gear wheel. The nose will drop down in the little slot in the front of the casting and we can move the gear wheel through the bearing pushing it into the bearing making sure we align the gears just give it a little wobble so that the gears are aligned and now you can see the shaft coming through the other side of the bearing now this is the important part where we fit the washer and the circlip over the end of the shaft into the groove to locate and fix the gear wheel in position and to do that we have to compress the Belleville washer now this is a little fixture we've made up to do that job because we do quite a few of these we've made here a little round nylon block with a groove in it that will accept this arm and the gear wheel will sit either side of this block. This is a little wooden block just to support the front end of the casting so that will sit on there like that. This device is a toggle clamp. You can get one of these on eBay for just a few quid and it will put pressure on the casting. We have a little rubber block on here. We can put pressure on the casting pressing down on the gear wheel to compress the Belleville washer. You can tell when the Belleville washer is compressed it makes a little satisfying click. Then we put on the plane washer that's supplied with the motor. Drop it down over there with a bit of grease. And then we come to fit the circlip. Now all circlips have a right way and a wrong way up. And to work out which is the right way and wrong way up, just close your eyes and feel the circlip between your fingers. And you'll see that the hole has a sharp side and a not so sharp side. And this time we're looking for the sharp side to be facing upwards so that the pressure against the circlip locates it best in the groove. So let's fit the circlip. Here are the circlip pliers and we need to open the circlip just enough to drop it over the shaft. Don't open it too much or you'll bend it and uh, you'll destroy the shape of the, and the spring of the circlip. Just drop it down and you'll know if the bell wheel washer is compressed because you'll be able to just rotate that circlip by hand and it will rotate freely in its groove on the shaft. And then you can release the toggle clamp and turn it over. If you don't want the bother of making up a fixture to compress the Belleville washer and fit the circlip, it can be done with a pair of grips or mole grips. I've got some water pump pliers here and I've taped on a little plastic block to compensate for the depth of the wiper gear in the housing and I'll put some tape on the other jaw so I don't damage the casting and with a good squeeze you can compress the Belleville washer but you may need an assistant to fit the circlip. Now we come to fitting the cover back on but first let's use a little bit of the grease that's in the cover and just spread it in the nylon channel 
around the cable feed it all the way around the cable you can spread some of this down there use your finger to push it in so it goes down into the nose put a little bit back around the gear and you've already got some on the park switch just spread the grease in there and then we can put the cover back on now don't forget that these little screws although they're self tappers they have still made a thread in the casting so you can just locate the thread and pick up the old thread by hand before you tighten them up There we go, I always write on whatever gear is in there, 110 degrees in this case. And there's the first piece of Bundy with the brass nut just screwing on the nose of the wiper motor. And if you want to remove a gear or replace it for a different sweep angle, just use the reverse procedure. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other instruction videos on our YouTube channel. Cheers for now.